lot of the time, my brothers and my sisters, we think that when we partake in certain sins, that the only time that we have to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on the day of judgment. The only time that we will be held to account for the sins that we carry out is on the day of resurrection. When we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And my brothers and my sisters, this is a flawed understanding. Our sins have consequences. In this dunya before the hereafter. Which will really surprise a lot of us. And it will put a lot of things into perspective for every single one of us. Right? Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi He has a kitab called Adda'u wa dawa The spiritual sickness and its cure. And subhanallah, the shaykh, the imam, Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi over 700 years ago was sent a query. And the one who wrote this letter to Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi was saying that if he doesn't find a solution to this problem that he is currently suffering from, he will completely lose control over himself. He didn't state the exact sin that he fell into, but when our Shaykh Abdul Zaq al Badr was teaching this kitab in the Prophet's Masjid, he explained that perhaps maybe he became extremely infatuated. He was lovesick. He saw a lady and he couldn't get her out of his head. He was extremely, extremely lovesick. And because of that, it was causing him to drown in sins. When we are now carrying out sins, my brothers and my sisters, it may well be that we will never leave these sins unless, unless we come to realize how much of a detrimental effect it is having on our day-to-day -day dealings, on our lives as whole, as a whole, right? The calamities that may come our way as a result of our sins, I'll put it into perspective, inshallah ta'ala today. Before I do that, I want to quickly point out, inshallah ta'ala, how do we deal with calamities and tribulations? When we go through hardships and difficulties, what should I do pertaining to my relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The easy option is to tell myself that Allah loves me. So, hey, I'm going through this difficulty, I'm going through this hardship, I'm going through these trials and tribulations because Allah loves me. And yes, my brothers and my sisters, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did say, إِنَّ اللَّهَ إِذَا أَحَبَّ شَخْصًا إِبْتَلَهَ If Allah loves, if Allah loves an individual, He will test it. Also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, أَشَدُّ النَّاسِ بَلَانَ الْأَنْبِيَاءَ فَالْأَمْثَلْ فَالْأَمْثَلْ يُبْتَلُوا إِنْسَانُ عَلَى قَدْرِ دِينِ The most severely tested people are the Prophets. And then those like them, and then those like them. Right? You're going through this test. Is it because of this reason? Or is it because of what Allah said in the Quran, Never are you struck with a calamity or a difficulty, except that it is due to what you have earned with your own hands. Is it because of this or is it because of that? Who can tell me? The easy option is to tell yourself or to be in denial and say, I'm going through all of this because uh, Allah Azza wa loves me. How do I know if it's because of my sins that I'm going through all of these difficulties? Or maybe because it's due to Allah as though loving me. Who can tell me? Huh, Everyone says that. And it's one of the explanations that the scholars give as well. Right? If now this trial gets you closer to Allah, it's maybe because Allah as well loves you. If it's not, then maybe the other reason the best answer that I heard my brothers and my sisters right and perhaps it is the strongest view I say it is the strongest view because we have many of the great righteous scholars of the past who would behave like this the moment things started going wrong 
answer here is, we just don't know. We don't know if it's because of this or if it's because of that. So what do we do? We are self-critical of ourselves. We put ourselves in a win-win situation. What is the win-win situation? Then you jeep, what is the win-win situation that we put ourselves in? We make tawbah to Allah. I sit down with myself. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Ya Allah, forgive me. Maybe I'm going through this because of a sin that I committed. Right? His win-win situation is what? Tawbah. What does Allah say? Inna Allah yuhibbu tawabin. Yuhibbu al-mutahim. Allah loves those who constantly make tawbah. Sah? Who constantly make tawbah. And those who are pure. If it was because of your sins, you've now sought forgiveness. Many of us, my brothers, when we commit sins, and we don't even think about repenting to Allah, it's just another sin that we fall into. It's just another sin, just like that. Huh? It's just another one. Right? Perhaps now, when you have this kind of attitude, you put yourself in a better situation. And if it was because Allah loves you, you've only increased. Sah? You've only increased in your relationship with Allah Azza wa Jal. That's the win-win situation. It could be this, it could be that you just make tawbah. Right? Ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullahi alayhi says in the final Jum'ah of the Tawah, وَإِذَا رَأَيْتَ الْعَبْدَ يَقْعُ فِي النَّاسِ إِذَا أَذَوْهُ وَلَا يَرْجُعُ إِلَى نَفْسِي بِاللَّوْمِ وَالِسْتِغْفَارِ فَعْلًا أَنَّ مُصِيبَتَهُ مُصِيبَةٌ حَقِقِيَةٌ Sometimes when things start going wrong, you see an individual retaliating. Sahih? He starts retaliating. He's ready to point the finger at everyone and everything except himself. Sahih? That's, we, that's how we are as human beings. We love to lift the blame off of ourselves. Hmm? We are never self-critical of ourselves. Huh? We never sit down and do istighfar. Barely ever. He says if you see someone retaliating, right, when things are going wrong, lashing out huh? without going back to Allah or without holding himself to account then no this guy is really really suffering from a huge calamity the bigger calamity that he's suffering from is not holding himself to account that's a calamity in within itself but then he says and when he now goes back to Allah and he seeks forgiveness, this will now turn into a blessing for him. Things will take a turn for the better. 